The forum here today will focus on four sub-themes. One is new market opportunities. The second is the oil and gas subsectors. And the third is private equity to speak to capital availability. And then the other one is the Africa continental free trade area, which today we might not talk about. But we'll talk about those three because we do have the people to present from them. When we, mass, when we last met as the PCF board, we tasked ourselves to undertake several key actions. Among them was developing a roadmap for positioning Uganda into markets like the DRC and South Sudan. The second, as the board that we came about, was to build a case for engaging private equity to facilitate the growth of the private sector in Uganda. And the third was engaging other players in the agriculture sector under the theme promoting value addition and enhancing domestic capacity production. We are thinking, we said, what can you do for Casita? Your Excellency, we made a survey and we talked to companies a number of companies that manufacture, about 60% will go ahead to trade across borders. And also, if you recommend Casita to become manufacturers, only 10% of Casita members are able to do that. And we have a game changer. We are proposing, why don't we turn Casita traders into traders of Ugandan goods across the borders? Your Excellency, if you do prioritize that, it will be the game changer. First, um, I will start with the issue of the export guarantee scheme to those risky markets. Um, this has two components. There is a component of the framework, the policy framework, which does not require money. And uh, already we have set up our team to work with the, our colleagues in the Ministry of Trade, Industry and Cooperatives, because this is a shared mandate, to come up with the, a framework quickly. And uh, I gave them a timeline of two months to ensure that we finalize this by August. And then see whether that framework will have budgetary implications because the, the, the communication came when the budget had already been uh, approved for next year. And we have said, with the exception of uh, things of this nature, Honorable Minister, we agreed uh, two issues now, industrial policy and security. They are the only issues we are going to allow in the budget through the supplementary window of the 3%, those which are unforeseen. But the, those which can wait for the medium term, we are going to address them in the forthcoming budget of 2023-24, which we start in September. And some of these will be uh, having the first call on the budget. Um, Coca-Cola has also agreed to invest, that they will invest on their side to address them. And therefore, they have agreed to start taking on this industrial sugar. And uh, they have requested only for a window, a window of between six months to one year, for them to offload their futures which they had already bought uh, and after that we can now go 100 percent and they will be able to buy the industrial sugar from our local producers so you can see that uh, the issue of protecting the market goes uh, both sides the side of the market you want to to capture as a manufacturer, but also yourself as a manufacturer, to work on the quality, quantity, and the price. I'm aware. 
they are aware that uh, CAPEC and MM are pilot projects. But there are these industries you call, uh, you know these ones you call Abatembuzi? Abashambuzi. Abatembuzi. Yes. Those ones that started our economy are still crumbling, and some of them are failing to me to make ends meet. So the five percent, the five U.S. cents, is only benefiting a few. And after all, we have also given them infrastructure development. But these ones started when they are wrong. They have not yet benefited, like you are aware. Your Excellency. I want to thank you for gracing this occasion. The private sector forum that brings together all leading CEOs in the country is a very, very good forum. And if we utilize this, the sky will be the limit. First point of, of intervention I want to be involved in is taxing imports. I totally agree. If you have got import, uh, products here, locally made, we should tax the ones from China and from India. What is the problem, Ramadan? You write it down and come and answer why you allow the Chinese <laughs> to flood our market and the Indians with subsidized products uh, and you do nothing, and you just uh, spectate. Ogum sango. Bagwanju demo mumbuga ya mateka. Awana yugano msango bagulesi. Special development model. We are saying that no, you 39% people, stop cheating us. Oh, Kongora. Congo is when you, people are digging in the garden for you, you are just standing on the, on the sideline, just watching and, and conversing. Conversing with passers-by. So we are, you all must be involved in the money economy. So what the Prime Minister is telling you that, ha, echiri musiko, bochiri watuka, enseri kankana, omwana li itanyina. Dance. So you come, the, the, this market of Congo is a big one because they get money from minerals and they get money from other things, but their agriculture is not, uh, is not uh, developed. Uh, and by the way, that, that division of labor between us and Congo is not new because much of Congo was a forest. Here is East Africa, here is Uganda, East Africa is forest, yes, but also grassland. Now the food was always grown in the grasslands. 